Hey cruisers, welcome back to our Alaska series. We're so happy to have you here. This video is sponsored today by cruiseline.com where you can find reviews, tips, and photos from real everyday cruisers. Check them out in the description below. So if you did not watch our video last week, you're busted. No, I'm just kidding. You need to go back and watch our embarkation day video before you watch this one, or you're gonna think that there's stuff missing from my Alaska bags. So here's the skinny. We are going on a 10 night Alaska cruise, not a seven night cruise. So we're gonna be packing a lot of extra stuff, more than you normally see when we're packing for a seven night cruise. We are also driving to port. So I'm not going to be concerned about baggage fees. I am not packing conservatively. I am not packing light. If you're looking for a packing light video, this is not for you. I'm embracing the overpacker that I am on this trip. So enjoy it. All right, let's get to the meat of our packing goodness here. So what do you guys think? Can I get all of this stuff in these two bags? This is a jumbo hard side it, cosme it cosmetics, it luggage bag. There are it cosmetics out there, but this is it luggage. I got this years ago at a discount store and I love it. So that's bag number one. And bag number two is pretty much the same thing. I can't even lift it, it's so heavy. It's a Ricardo from a set that I got at Costco. So that is what we're going to attempt to do. Now keep in mind, we're going to use compression bags on this cruise. So all of this outerwear that you see right here is going to be packed into compression bags and the air is going to be removed. So we are going to do our best to shrink everything down where necessary. So we've talked about the bags. We've talked about the duration of our cruise. Now I'm going to show you what I am packing, what my son is packing and what my husband is packing. Now the stuff in the packing cubes is not going to come out because I want you guys to stay tuned and watch our what I wore or outfit of the day as a lot of you like to call it when we get on our cruise. I'm going to be showing you every single outfit probably with the exception of my pajamas every day on our cruise. So if you want to see what's in the bags Wait for that, otherwise I'm gonna show you what's on hangers, okay? So, let's get started. We are going to start with my clothes. This particular packing cube has all of my, they're basically like active wear clothes. So I have exercise pants, I have exercise tops, I have lightweight, layerable clothing in here. In Alaska, because it is such a casual destination, I find that what I tend to do is start my day in active wear. Whether or not I'm working out or not, it's gonna be this type of thing, sports bras, you know, yoga pants, things like that with my sneakers and those may or may not make it through the day. So that's a lot of what you see here and I'm gonna go ahead and move some of this stuff aside as we wrap it up. Next up on my list is our big, huge bag with all the miscellany in it. We'll get a close up for you. This bag I kind of need to open so that you can see what's inside of it. But this is the remainder of the toiletries that you guys did not get to see in last week's um, embarkation day bag. So what we have here is little stuff so that we can see it. This here is all my shampoos and conditioners for this trip. More miscellaneous uh, toiletry items like lotions, face wash, sunscreen, eye makeup remover, shaving cream for my husband, extra deodorant, and stuff like that. And this here is mostly lotions for face, body, day, night, you name it. I also have a thermos here because my husband likes hot coffee from the espresso shop in the morning. And this is how I transport it back to the stateroom. This is a jewelry roll. It has all of my jewelry for our upcoming cruise, which is wonderful. This little bag here has all of my hair stuff in it. So the types of things we're gonna see in here are going to be rubber bands, bobby pins, and different types of hair products that I use on my cruise. This is my little laundry bag. We do always do laundry on board. Usually it helps us to pack a little bit lighter, but also Alaska is a destination where your stuff just gets more dirty. Your jeans will get dirt on them if you go on an active excursion. You may even need to wash your jackets once or twice. At least that's been our experience. So I take a little bit of my favorite laundry products here, whether that's detergent, whitener, woolite, whatever it may be, it's in here. Loads and loads of extra hand sanitizing wipes here and my new pop-up hamper that I got at Bed Bath & Beyond and it happens to be pink. So this is kind of a little utility bag and we're gonna go ahead and zip this one up and put it off to the side and then I'm going to show you what's next in my packing cubes. As you can see, I got the green packing cubes this time. So this last bag here, I'm not gonna open. This holds my jeans, 
all of my t-shirts, both short sleeve and long sleeve, and my warm weather extras, a sweatshirt or two. I have scarf, hats, and gloves in this bag. So this is the bulkiest stuff that I have, and this could end up in a compression bag later, but probably not, because I don't want my suitcase to get too heavy. So we'll move this one aside. I think we're gonna run out of room here, okay. Now I'd like to show you a little bit about what my husband has packed. We've kept him out of packing cubes so far so that I can show you just a teeny tiny bit more of what you're looking at. In this stack here, he has one pair of shorts. Very few shorts needed for Alaska, even if it's warm. So we have a hat, a nice North Face baseball cap, one pair of shorts, one pair of athletic pants, and then he has a lot of different pairs of pants and jeans here, from chino type pants to cords and jeans. All right, moving on to stack number two, we have his formal wear ties. He actually has several bow ties that he's gonna try out on this particular cruise. We don't know which ones yet, so I'll show you in a moment what he's going to be wearing those with. And then all he really needs in the way of cold weather gear is a beanie. My husband does not take a scarf. He does not take gloves. He's a man. He just uses the beanie. Next up, lots of socks, casual daytime socks, evening socks, and then his underwear are here. And the rest of this is t-shirts, short sleeve, long sleeve, enough for that particular duration of voyage. So that's my husband's folded stuff. We're gonna get to all the hanging stuff in just a moment for myself, my son, and my husband. Next up is my next packing cube. Apparently I skipped one, sorry guys. I am clearly the one who has the most stuff. This particular bag has my swimwear, socks, and my pajamas, underwear, and bras. Did not forget my undergarments to the undergarment police who video after video leave a comment and say, where's your undies? I promise they're here, they're here. All right, so that is my last packing cube. And yes, I know, I'm a massive overpacker, you guys. I'm aware of that. I have no shame. It's, it's okay with me and I hope it's okay with you. So. Let's move to my son. My son has a beautiful set of packing cubes this, this time from Shack Pack, one of our favorite early um, sets of packing cubes. This is his socks, underwear, and pajamas in this little cube here. Next up are all of his t-shirts, long sleeve, short sleeve, sweatshirts, and everything on the top of his body. And then in this bag, I have his jeans and all of his little pants and things like that. So all of that casual wear will be, uh, on his little body and in that laundry repeatedly. So let's take a look now at the exciting stuff, all the stuff that we left on hangers to show you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and start from the front and work back. So we're gonna be looking at my outerwear first. We're gonna be starting with a fleece that I got from REI Garage. This was on clearance for like $20. This is a Columbia size small that I will be layering under my waterproof layer. Next up, I have a beautiful Columbia fleece that's very thick, and I'm sure my husband is cringing right now thinking, oh yeah, that's going in a compression bag, babe. But anyway, I got this at the Columbia outlet. If you watched our Carnival Miracle vlogs, you saw us shopping there, and this is one of the things I got back in May. Now for the most important item anyone could possibly pack, in my opinion, on an Alaskan cruise, and that is your waterproof layer. This is a Columbia... Um, little raincoat, this is a size small. Also got this at REI Garage on sale. They have wonderful things there. So this is what it looks like. It is hooded and I can, it's pretty lightweight, so I can definitely layer things under it. I love green, it's one of my favorite colors and I was so happy to find that on sale. It's been a long time, I think I've had it for six months, but I love green. I know it's bold, but you guys are gonna be seeing a lot of that in the vlogs. Then for glacier days and really, really cold days, I have this Columbia, Omni Heat fleece jacket. As you can see, this is about mid thigh length, comes right above the knee. I will probably be wearing this on our cruise with Ugg boots and leggings on Glacier Day. So watch for that in our Outfit of the Day series. Okay, on to my evening wear. I packed about seven night outfits for 10 days. I plan to recycle them. Don't think that I'm going to need 10. So that is where I was relatively conservative. I have a good old fashioned express off the shoulder black cotton dress that you've seen a million times before. I have a, a new dress that I got in the Macy's Juniors department. Am I doing okay on staying in frame here, honey? Okay, this is going to be for dinners. I have my first of two formal night dresses. This is a Michael Kors um, cross front, very simple sheath dress. It is uh, floor length, so you'll be seeing that. I also have a new cocktail dress. I believe this is from INC at Macy's. This is a petite medium. It's a real ruffly kind of dress that goes off of one shoulder. Really excited to wear that, super bright. 
I have a jumpsuit from INC that I'm excited about here too. This is a petite medium, and as you can see, it's pants, and it will kind of be off the shoulder. I'm excited about this one. It's something new. And then you've seen this dress before, just a nice little Nordstrom rack, casual dress, and a Forever 21 casual dress for evenings. And my seventh dinner outfit, I believe this is number seven, is just a little Old Navy um, kind of casual cottony dress with a little half sweater over the top. So those are all of my evening clothes. We're gonna go ahead and talk about shoes at the very end of this video. What we're gonna do, rather than me picking up shoes for everyone, is we're just gonna kinda lay them out and I'll explain to you what we're going to wear the shoes for. So if you think I'm skipping that, stay till the end. All right, let me show you what we're packing for my little son. We have first his pants for formal nights, a pair of gray and black. We have two shirts for formal night that both need to be ironed, which we will do on board. As you can see, he has one with a regular tie and one with a bow tie to match his daddy. And then we have a bunch of different shirts that he's gonna be wearing to dinner. So we have a Lucky Brand little casual shirt. All of them are collared. Little something from Gymboree. And I'm sure the one he's most excited about, his little Stormtrooper shirt, for, also from Gymboree. And this has anchors on it. He's gonna kill me when he sees this. He hates nautical clothes, but that's okay. <laughs> and then we have another collared shirt here. That one's probably from Ross. Another Gymboree Henley style uh, shirt and this little polo here. So those are all of the clothes that he's gonna wear to dinner. He's gonna pair those with jeans and cords and little pants that are already packed away. All right. Next up are my son's outer layers. We are going with a bunch of warm stuff now. This is his Quicksilver sweatshirt, little hoodie. This is his rain layer from Gymboree and a matching fleece to keep him warm underneath that. And inside of his packing cubes, of course, we're gonna have hat and gloves for him. This is another rain layer for him. I'm not sure if I'm packing this yet. We may not need two, so I'll decide a little bit later. And a couple of pieces that we got at the Columbia outlet. This is a nice little fleece, thin, kind of lightweight jacket and a little Columbia vest. It's so cute, you guys, it's reversible. Has fleece on the inside and even a logo. So that wraps it up for my son. There is one item I forgot to tell you guys was in these packing cubes and that is a set of binoculars. I know that we did not talk about binoculars last week and you are all probably wondering where they are. They're in the packing cubes. Now. We're gonna take a look at my husband's evening shirts and his formal night wear and his outerwear. So here we go. He has a total of four nice dress shirts that he is going to be wearing. Now some of the shirts that he has folded are also dressy enough for evenings, but these are his main shirts. So he has two basic white shirts that he'll probably wear with bow ties. Show you a little bit more about how he's gonna pair those. And then these two printed collared shirts here that we just got at discount stores most likely, like Ross or TJ Maxx. They have great deals on shirts. Now he has this vest that he is going to pair with this beautiful sport coat and a pair of slacks, which are nicely hanging here. Both of these from clearance at Macy's. I'm not kidding you, you guys. We got this beautiful jacket for something like $23 on clearance and it fits him beautifully. Super lightweight. My husband does not always pack sport coats for formal night on a cruise, but in Alaska where it's a little bit cooler, he's going to be doing that. And again, he'll be pairing them with bow ties and or a regular tie. I know you already saw these earlier, but I wanted to show you one more time. Okay, last but not least in the apparel, my husband's outerwear layers. So he has this packable puffy vest, which is extremely lightweight. He has his Columbia rain layer, which is just a standard Columbia jacket. And he has his awesome splurge item, which is this beautiful guest leather jacket that he's gonna wear to keep him warm. So he's not gonna take any hoodies or anything like that. And again, all of his pants are here that he'll be pairing all of that with. So I think we've covered everything. I'm looking around, making sure we didn't forget everything. And we did, it's the shoes. So let's talk about shoes. We're gonna show you right now what everybody is going to be wearing in the way of shoes. Let's start with my son. He is only going to be taking three pair of shoes on this cruise. He's going to be taking his flip-flops, which he loves to wear. He's going to be taking his Nike sneakers and a little pair of Gymboree wingtips, if you will, that he's gonna wear for dinners and formal nights. So only three pair of shoes for him. And you can get a good look at those right now. 
Next up, my husband's shoes. My husband is going to be taking a nice standard pair of black dress shoes, and then he's going to be taking a couple pairs of casual shoes. He may throw in a set of flip flops as well, but he also likes a pair of slippers, which we'll show you right here. And last but not least, my shoes. We're saving that for the, for the end because this is one area, you guys, where I'm totally overdoing it on this cruise and I know it. So I'm going to be packing a pair of Ugg boots for this cruise. I'm also taking a pair of Sperry duck boots that I'm really excited about for active excursions when I'm going to be in a situation where I need something waterproof. I will also be packing my Nike sneakers. And the two pairs of shoes that I plan to wear for the evenings are these Nine West nude wedges, which will go with every single one of my dresses. But on the two formal nights, I will be wearing these silver wedge pumps. So what did you guys think of our packing series? Hope you liked it. Be sure to stay tuned for the upcoming Alaska videos that we have for you. We are going to be putting all of this into action in the outfit of the day videos, also known as what I wore on my princess cruise. So stay tuned for that. Be sure to follow us on social media. We post tons of fun photos from our cruises. We alert you on all of our uh, new videos that are coming up and all the great news that we have going on in our lives. We're at Cruise Tips TV for all of those. Thank you all so much for watching. And until next time, we'll see you on the high seas. Bye. Hey, click me to subscribe.